SEO tips and tricks how to double if not quadruple your conversions within this week and I'm gonna show you proven insights that you can use for optimizing your website to gain better conversions now I'll touch base with basic stuff such as power of contrast that means you can utilize different colors that stand out and jump out when you're utilizing certain call to actions also remember how people interact with websites on internet whether they use their mobile devices whether they use their laptops ipads desktop that's irrelevant what's relevant is the first eyeful that means when they learn what is it that they're going to see Makes sense so google analytics can be of help here if you dive into google analytics you'll be able to see um, devices that's being used the browser sizes that's being used most often for your website as in when visitors come what sort of a device they use you need to know that so that you can present your content perfectly so therefore that first eiffel becomes critical present you know um, content in such way that you utilize words images and so on and your aim at that moment is to get that visitor to take the next step next interaction and that is to scroll down to read more because if they don't read the content on your site then they're not going to convert so therefore that first eyeful and you're working on what is it that you're presenting there and how you're communicating on that first eyeful is the first step towards meeting your conversion objectives so therefore work on that yeah, white space most websites when i optimize them the space in between elements whether elements such as images sidebar between paragraphs or headings and so on you want to have comfortable white space not too much or not too little but just comfortable that means you can you know look at your own website and say okay you know what the text block or the next block the space in between is it pleasant or do you just have too many text paragraph blocks as it as an example then if so then you break it meaning instead of having one huge text block which is never good to read you can block things as in make it perhaps divided into two now first eyeful is absolutely critical right now let's go and i'm going to share with you sample codes as well sample style sheet css code this is actually great and every time i use this on a client site they definitely improve last two weeks client double their conversions of a new site move right now i'm going to share with you that particular style and you can definitely use it all you need to do perhaps is change the color to match your brand colors and i'll show you how to do that as well let's say you're creating a sample page you know imagine having a text block like this right that's doesn't no one's going to read that so therefore breaking things up in chunks make it easy for people to read but ideally all your pages all your blog posts you have to ask yourself when people who read the content you present when they come towards the end of it are you asking them to do something if not then you need to ask them you need to guide them to take certain action because i see many websites that i optimize they have the great content but towards the end of it there is no call to action so this proven method works great particularly for using it towards the end of your content for your call to action right let's say you want to link to a product page or a contact page 
and let's put a link there let's add the link let's go to text I'm using WordPress but surely you can use different content management system here you just add class equals and the name of that class is this sample code here that sample code can go on the appearance press on editor for WordPress it's style.css so all you do is just paste that sample code let's paste it now for time being let's update that file that's already in there so you can have access to that sample style sheet in the description of this video right and the class we're using is called action links so therefore that call to action on my page or a blog post has class equals double quote then we just paste the name of that class now let's preview that page and let's see a responsive button that will render perfectly on any device and resize according to the device width and it looks great and it catches the eye of your website visitors now my brand colors utilize this what if your brand colors are different if that is the case here let me minimize this so I show you just this code here right? I'm using RGBA and here why am I using to just highlight that save it let's roll CSS let's box shadow background color is this color is this okay let me show you let's say your brain color is blue hex color codes you can go to if you want to change the color altogether there are many different websites that you can go and simply say you know what that's my brand color if that is the case then for this lot here background color you can just paste that color code in there and when someone hovers over that button let's say you want to present this color simply copy that color and replace it and move that hashtag so now you've just modified that css style to match your brand colors make sense so you can easily change the colors to match your brand colors and utilize this button for your call to actions particularly towards the end of your content it works great and it does wonders as i've said i want you to double if not quadruple your conversion results now for you to be able to do that you need to remember that if you look at your log files then you'll know website visitors find you from many different angles on your website as in through many different landing pages and not necessarily your home page make sense so most small business owners they just focus on optimizing their home page and yet they leave other parts of their website rather not good as not optimized white space is absolutely critical to have a harmony so when someone comes you want them to consume your copy so therefore the white space in between elements must be perfected now i'll show you how to do that as well you can experiment with f12 on the keyboard bring up web developer toolbar and here you've got paddings as you can see and here you'll be able to see what that element is all about and you can actually say padding you can give paddings or margins padding let's say bottom let's make it 3m as you can see the the white space has just moved but 3rem is huge so that means perhaps 2 rem 2 rem in this example will be 32 pixels 
but you don't want too much white space or you don't want too little of a white space so paddings padding bottom padding top you can need to easily tweak and once you see what element requires um, padding and so on to have that nice white space then all you do is grab as in copy that go into your style sheets paste it in there or you can simply search it to see if it's already in there and then say padding iPhone button colon let's say 2 rem as an example or you can even give pixels but pixels aren't smart because it's not um, responsive so using ram or m values would be ideal now another critical element is fonts fonts on internet is so abused it's not funny by default minimum font size that you should use is 16 pixels not too little not too large 16 pixels are default for most major browsers why because they have the user um, data you know going back years so browser uh, creators they know the best way to present the fonts is 16 pixels so therefore make sure the font sizes that you're using you can see computed font value will be shown here font family is that if you want to use custom fonts no problems so currently that's rendered as in computer as 16 pixels which I'm happy with but it should be minimum 16 pixels because it makes reading much more easier for your website visitors and once again if they don't read they're not going to convert so let's take a look at what else we can look at call to actions we know the importance of creating um, contrast um, contrasting colors large buttons always work better with large text too so test different things right but ideally you also want to test the text that you're using for your call to actions that means in this example i've said press here to contact us now right so if you've got add to cart buttons then you may say you know what instead of having the default like everyone else can you change that text to be place secure order on that button or for your contact us page we're waiting by we're waiting by the phone ready to take your phone call and so on you know like change the text test different things because then you will see some words and some communication methods that you use will allow you to see different results furthermore don't think to yourself you know what per one page or blog post i can only have one call to action no especially if your content is rather large to consume you can perhaps test different call to actions in different levels perhaps somewhere in the middle and then before you surely publish your content you look and see how that website visitor will see that website of yours as in web pages and remember consistency will always improve your website conversions consistency means your navigation structure let's go and visit a different landing page as you can see everything stays the same most websites have this you probably have this as well but clear navigation is absolutely critical right and consistency then says your website when people interact with it whether they go to contact us page whether they go to about us page whether they go to blog posts the user experience that they have should be consistent that means my call to actions or share buttons should be like this throughout all my blog posts 
I'm sure your website is similar to that, but if not, you can work on that. Now, let me wrap it up. Font sizes, fonts that you use. You can test different fonts if you want, but at minimum, ideally you want 16 pixels. At minimum, because that makes it's proven fact that it's better for readability. Use contrasting colors to you know, jump out at your website visitor, as in imagine them when they're interacting. They found you through many different um, external sources. They landed here. First Eiffel, what you present, how you present things on that first Eiffel should be pleasant. It shouldn't be cluttered with many, many things. That's why having a balanced and harmonized white space will let your website visitor look at what you're presenting in that first Eiffel and then you know having some call to actions because they find you for a reason let let's do this then let me show you how to rank in Google in 24 hours let's see they press on this they land here but how did they find me they found me by searching so i focus on google a lot right now, at that moment when they land here i have to think all right they search for this i have to think like the the website visitor who never visited me before they search for this so now they are asking themselves hmm google show this page does this page have the content that i'm looking for and here that's what i present for them at that moment split second you know one two three four five second and that's it that's only time you have you don't have any more time because on the internet things happen quick so you want to be able to capture their attention and you can do that using images using headings to uh, let that website visitor know that your landing page will answer their questions or cater um, you know, for what they have found your website for there's a reason they visit you and in that first rifle you have to be able to tweak it in such way so that th that website visitor knows they will find the answer on your landing page because now they can then read through the rest of the content and ideally towards the end of it you want to make sure there is some call to action you guide them through communicating through words have white space make it balanced not too much not too little use contrasting colors and utilize the sample css styles as i'll show you how to do to create nice looking buttons that jump at your website visitor so that they can fulfill the call to action that you're presenting to them and critically always work on changing and testing different words for your call to actions instead of just using the same word same word make sense now, whether it is for e-commerce site you can say instead of add to cart you can perhaps tweak your theme to change that add to cart to securely purchase now and so on and test that to see that you will definitely get different results and within very short time you'll find the perfect optimized solution for your website because it's different right and remember consistency throughout your website will definitely improve your conversions rewatch this video session if you must take on the advice implement it and i can basically assure you that you will double if not quadruple your conversion results within just one week try it and you will see i thank you very much for learning with rankia if you benefited from this video session Please do give it a like and share it and I'll talk with you in the next video session.